Hello, and welcome to Green Hat Red Beard Adventures. <clears throat> this video is an update video on my backpack. This is the Frost River Cliff Jacobson Signature Pack. Yeah, it's got a long title, I know. But uh, I've been using this for roughly four months solid now, and I've been using it almost daily on every single hike for day hiking, as well as for bushcrafting, for just simply going out in the woods, tinkering around. So I thought I'd show you guys a little bit more about this backpack. I do have a previous video of uh, pretty much the week that I got it. So I got this at a place called Canadian Outdoor Equipment Co. located in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. So I thought I'd give you guys a rundown. Oh, and uh, all the technical information on this backpack, all the materials used in it, all those uh, specific uh, size and weight and whatnot, I'm going to put all that down in the description of the video. So as you can see, of course, you know, it's a nice uh, wax canvas material. Um, again, like I said, I'm going to put the, all the specific details in the description, but uh, it's nice material, nice leather. The stitching is really nice on here, very tough, very durable. I love the leather on this, leather straps. You got the nice brass uh, belt buckles here, each one on each side here. That's These two here secure the main flap on here. You also got them on each side here and on this side here as well. So first and foremost, before I get into the inside of the backpack, let's flip her around. Now, the one thing I was really concerned about when I way back when I got it is because a lot of my bags do have the actual uh, chest strap that goes right across here. But I've actually found that this material is nice and rough. And actually, like it's with most backpacks that I wear, the st straps often slip away um, when it's on my... Uh, over my shoulders but this one takes nice grip onto your clothing and doesn't slip I've never had an issue where it just slips off and I constantly have to uh, you know, readjusting myself kind of thing hopefully you understand what it is I'm talking about as you can see on the straps here is nice leather you got the nice uh, uh, rivets on there on each side you got a nice carrying strap here handle I'm going to talk about this in a moment as well and there are these uh, belt these nice little belt straps are attached to the bottom of the backpack as opposed to the uh, back side. So that way it doesn't rub onto your back. I find that's quite convenient. Uh, I've never seen any wear or tear on any of these at all, despite how much time I've taken of putting them on, taking them off again. They really hold up really nicely. I adjust them one time and I've never had to adjust the uh, height or length of this at all. You got a little tag that's right there, Frost River, uh, made in Duluth, Minnesota, USA. So the side pouch that's on here, there's uh, this size pouch and there's one on the other side as well. Uh, it's exactly the same on the other side as it is this side. Um, you got your nice little flap right here, it attaches onto the nice little belt buckle right here. Works really nicely, holds up really nicely again, no wear or tear whatsoever. The inside is a little black, however, unfortunately, simply because on this side of the pouch, I carry my clean canteen water bottle, one liter bottle, my uh, GSI cup, a lid, some coffee, some TP in there as well. So when I have my bottle in the fire, I obviously get that soot. I clean it off the best I can, but still it gets a little bit of rubbing on the inside there. So it's, you can see a little bit right there, it's black. Um, I didn't notice this until after I bought this, but it actually has a little side sleeve right here. It's like just on the uh, inside of this here by the outside of the main pouch so it's a nice sleeve right there a nice pocket in there I often keep my silky gone boy saw now like I said just like on this side here it's the exact same thing same size pouch same size and everything it's got the nice sleeve on this side as well I often carry my hatchet on this side other times it'll be like my bow drill spindle my bow or possibly just other little odds and ends. In this pouch here, it's odds and ends that I carry in there. Sometimes I'll carry my rope, my tarp, other things of the sort. So let's get to the main pouch. The flap opens up here, and the open, and there's a nice big opening space. There's, like, no, there's only one pocket kit on the inside, which is right here, and there's a zipper to that one there. Um, <clears throat> I believe it's a 17 liter capacity on the inside. And uh, with the flap, it can potentially grow to about somewhere in the general range around 30 liters. So as you can see before I get started though, these straps here are nice and secured very nicely. You can see the leather on there, you can see the brass the rivets there as well. These stitching really holds up. And on the inside you can see 
all the stitching and the brass right there as well. So it's really heavy duty. It's very, very well made, very high quality stuff right there. Um, to cover the uh, main pouch here, you got a little flap right here and right here with another strap. <coughs> Excuse me. And that there secures whatever you have in there. Like I said, there's also a small little zipper pouch that hangs on the inside here as well. It's really nice to have for those small little odds and ends. I'll take you through that in a moment. I got my gear laid out on the picnic table next to me. On the outside, there's another pocket right here on the outside. And this nice big open sleeve right here. In there, I often keep my uh, bush box pocket stove, the windshield, uh, sometimes my work gloves, depending on what I have. So all in all, this is what I, this is my backpack here. Like I said, it's about 17 liters, but uh, on the top edge here, oftentimes, uh, sometimes when it's on those chillier days, I've actually been able to get away with carrying a wool blanket. I roll it up and have it sitting across on top like this. And then I just simply have the, uh, so I'll have it across like that. And I'll just put the flap right over top, secure it on the bottom. And that wool blanket's not going anywhere. I usually make it nice and tight, so it's not gonna slip. I'm not going to go anywhere on you. So let's give you a little quick close up here and a little some odds and ends here. First and foremost, of course, it's a nice patch on there. Look at that. It's just beautiful. Look at that. Reliable soft goods. Duluth, Minnesota. Frost River. Just that by itself is beautiful. Look at it. And as you can see here, this is the uh, strap for securing the main flap. Obviously, there's a little bit of wear and tear, obviously, from strapping on strapping. This one here has actually got a more worse of it. I find that uh, if you have it tightened up quite a bit on here, you got a lot of access. If you put the backpack on and off on the ground or something like that, although I make it my personal business not to let this bag touch the ground, I actually have a, a little toggle and a rope where I'll tie a rope around the post with a toggle, put a toggle through here, and I actually hang the backpack from a tree. But uh, anyways, um, as you can see here, you know, there's nice leather stitching. They got the nice brass on there to uh, help secure the straps. That's what it looks like on the other side. So very tough, very durable, very heavy, very heavy duty stuff right there. We got the pouch on the side here. Sorry, it's, uh, there we go. Look at that, just beautiful. You got the nice like stitching on there. And then you, of course, you got like a little brass rivet right there as well for an extra little bit of uh, securement. Same with the top right here, look at that. So everywhere, there's always at least one of these little brass rivet things here. Let's get a look on the other side. So there you go, nice and tough and durable. I haven't spotted any loose ends coming loose at all on this backpack anywhere on it. I haven't seen any uh, threads coming loose. It's very, like I said, a very tough, very durable backpack so far in the time that I've had it and the time I've used it. And believe me, I've used it a whole lot. I take this out with me on just about every single day hike I go to, as well as just about every uh, bushcraft related event I go to. And um, here, I'll show you some of the stuff that I have in here right now. Um, I emptied out my backpack because I wanted to duck because I actually had some loose debris in the bottom and I wanted to empty it all out. So this is the stuff. That, uh, not all of this I carry on a day-to-day -day basis. For example, like the two water bottles I don't often carry are the Monster soup can. Sometimes I carry a soup can. Other times I always carry a Mr. Noodles. Like I got this pouch right here from Ross River as well. And in there I got like my wooden spoon, my headlamp, you know, pocket bellows, some tongs, knife sharpener in there. This comes with me just about every hike, my hammock. That's my bushcraft chair. I got two bows right here for the bow drill. This pouch right here, and one of those bows I don't often carry. That's my bow drill kit there. Sitting pad, the blue bag, it's my grill. This is for sitting in the wetness. My journal, the green uh, thing is actually a cutting board. I use, you as, uh, I use it as a plate as well. In that little pouch I pointed out, you know, this couple things right here is often what I carry in there, as well as a fish ferro rod that's my toggle by the way for hanging the bag my stove my windshield underneath it bush box pocket stove saw clean canteen bottle so on and so forth so this is the frost river cliff jacobson signature pack see you around